Hi guys, today I'd like to show you a picture I did of those two little boys for Easter session here in St. Peters, Petersburg, Florida in the really cool park which is called Sawgrass Lake Park and um, it was a really neat session This it was 10 o'clock in the morning the sun wasn't too high and it wasn't too low it's a very shady park so it, it still looks great you can see the details of the park in the back maybe the trees because the bouquet is really really nice in this picture I used the Canon 7D and a 50mm 1.4 it was shot IS, at ISO one, uh, 640 at f2.0 f2 at 1 2000, 2000 of a second so I'd like to just show you the process how I achieved the look of this picture the way it looks right now I think it's just a gorgeous picture so let me just show you how I did it and we'll start off fresh I shoot in camera raw or I shoot raw I should say I shoot camera raw I shoot raw that's a little better so I like all, I, I like all my pictures to be warm I don't like cold pictures so I always bring my warmth pretty high depending on the, the picture that I'm working with but most of my pictures if you go to my website at adrianmade.com you'll see pretty much all of them are very warm but that's just the way I like to have like my pictures to look there's nothing wrong with people liking you know more colder than you know everybody has their own preference my preference is warmer because it just looks nice to me so the exposure I'm gonna go up pretty high with the exposure maybe like 110 because we're, we're gonna bring down the highlights um, a, a lot I'd like to bring the details detail back from behind the little boys so it looks good there for me as you can start as you can see the lines of the trees there and we're still getting the good good exposure on them some people say oh you shouldn't go above 110 of exposure it's okay the cameras are you know don't have that much noise even at ISO 640 it's it's okay in these kind of situations you're not you're not going to print huge files these are for families just probably the biggest they're, they're ever going to be printed are 8 by 10 I would ju I would imagine 8 by 10 or even a, a medium sized canvas which is fine the ISO won't be that noisy there um, shadows I'm not going crazy with shadows just a little bit probably about 7 just to bring their faces out even though I used the speed light my camera left bounced from a reflector my assistant was holding at ETTL I think it was minus one stop of exposure compensation or flash compensation it was just a little bit of fill flash that's all my whites I'm, I am gonna bring a lot of whites so up I will hold option or alt on the Mac and PC so we'll probably bring out right about there I would say just to have you don't want to have too much white because because the the white will the, the, your eye will guide for the brightest spot and we don't want to have the brightest spot to go in the foreground or even the background somewhere we know we, we want to focus on the kids sitting in the park so the whites I like the whites where they are uh, blacks will do the same thing option and we'll give a little bit of blacks um, a little bit black in the picture so like 25 it looks good there let's see I like to give a little bit of vibrance about there 42 probably would be the most I would do and saturation I don't I'm not crazy about saturation because it doesn't give a nice skin color so probably about plus 8 it would be the the most I would do to this picture I will probably get more black just to even, even out the histogram that looks good we have some blacks there and a little bit of white there I like my pictures to be sharpened not a lot but about 66 I always just click in the middle pretty much 
and I give a little bit of noise reduction even though it was pretty low ISO and chromatic aberration I always do that just to be on the safe side if someone wants to zoom in you don't have the chromatic aberration there and the picture looks good so the next step is just a little bit of vignetting and I, I'm not crazy about vignetting but I like to bring the dark spots from each corner of the picture to the center or to focus our eyes on the object or the subject that we were photographing so right there it looks just perfect to me so this is before this is after I still see they're a little bit too bright I think on their foreheads and it might be too much brightness there so we'll take the brush tool and we'll, we'll darken it just a little bit that's like even too much but let's click opacity here so we know where, where we're painting. So what I just did, I clicked letter O on the keyboard. And we'll bring down, we'll take that out a little bit of exposure there. Just a smidge. Maybe minus 13. Let's take the opacity out. Yeah, that looks better there. And yeah, that looks great. As you can see, it brings out so much color and look at the histogram it's almost perfect uh, I could probably even bring more white but then it's it's too white so right there that's a perfect picture for Easter has that nice Easter feel you know how everything is pretty much nice colors this is very vibrant the bokeh is good either for being a cheap or a cheap lens that's probably like three hundred dollars it creates a decent um, bokeh right there you can see they almost look like lemons <laughs> lemons they, they're the shape of lemons because it's not a very expensive lens so the, there's not that many aperture blades I guess so it, it gives that different look but I think this this looks really good comparing with this picture which is that and that I got it pretty close this is before and after it, it was just a very simple post process post processing of, of images or image it, it's, it's just as simple as that I'm sure there's a lot more you could do to this picture but this is just very simple quick mini session which was 30 minutes on location I had parents coming in and go and it just looks great they loved it and I'm sure you can remove some of the highlights here on the grass if you really wanted to play with the picture. But right there, the parents loved it. I, I don't think the picture doesn't need anything else done to it. They both have nice smile. I wish he looked at me, but it's still cute the way he's just looking away and he's looking at me. The composition of the picture, it, it, it's it's great. We got there's not there's no trees growing out of the head and it just looks great. So. I think this will be it for the for this week. Next week we'll do uh, a beach picture, which we have a beach session coming up. Or we, um, my assistant and I are doing a really cool beach session. So um, I think that that'll be it, guys, for this week. Uh, tune in next week to uh, my YouTube channel, and I hope you subscribe and like it and favorite as being for our first tutorial ever on YouTube. Hopefully you guys visit my website at adrianmade.com. I hope to see you guys then. See you guys next week.